There is a nationwide uh, appreciation for this uh, movie uh, going on, and then what was the exciting, most exciting comment uh, you received? Uh, I've been getting a lot of really exciting calls. Actually, it's uh, I'm still, you know, uh, uh, sort of breaking every now and then and thinking, is this happening? That I'm really happy. So there have been calls that I'm very, very thrilled about. So there have been people uh, I've done theater with uh, for you know many years. All of them writing, and I'm really happy to hear from directors I've worked with. Uh, today I got a call from. Uh, uh fasul sir in the morning and it made my day and year and <laughs> these are people i've grown up watching or even manji ji manji bar it texted so these are people i've loved watching and you know look up to very very much so it's very nice to hear from them <laughs> what are the exciting comments basically there's been um some some of the stuff that there are people writing to me about people they know who've been in similar situations or you know some real, very real life stories that have um, you know reached and uh, some somebody uh, wrote to me about this girl who i, I mean i can't uh, reveal too much of the yeah. story because i'll be revealing her story and our story so but yeah someone in very uh, a very similar situation who uh, uh, the girl who wrote to me knew and uh, you know and it was a very uh, it it moved me very very much listening to her write about uh, write about her friend and how uh, you know this is uh, this felt very close to home and gave her hope so yeah it's it's uh, yeah i mean it's it's been too overwhelming honestly <laughs> while you have said this and i thought uh, of something else as in you have played this uh, pivotal role uh, in this movie and uh, we saw uh, tears dripping from uh, fahad's eyes mm -hmm. when he was uh, understanding how things are and yeah. so how was your reaction when you listened to this story from the director or whoever we all uh, so i i cry very easily like uh, you know while watching things hearing things i mean it's uh, um you know it, i'm i'm like films or all of it i'm i'm the first person to be crying so even in this i think we were all sitting uh, listening to the script being read my son was reading it and we were all around so i think i was just trying really hard not to cry <laughs> but uh, i was very moved uh, and i um, yeah i think just right after he showed me a video of um, this uh, girl who you know uh, uh, this girl who had sent home a video uh, you know one girl in middle east in a similar situation and like it was it haunted me for i think that's a lot of what i've done is drawn from some stuff like that yeah yeah uh, so um, a friend i was talking about this movie uh, right after i watched uh, you mm -hmm. know so she said like the uh, way you have embraced the character 
Uh, mm-hmm. So and uh, the way you were crying so natural and you know so uh, it it happened naturally or you know uh, how how was it uh, when you were acting that I feel like I had access to the emotion like I was um, you know I was feeling very strongly for Anu myself and I think I had like. I I was able to feel for this person very strongly so I really wanted to make sure that the there's a graph from you know even even in something like the you know crying I just I, there had to be different kinds of crying sort of like there had to be you know one from when she realizes this has happened to when she's really desperate to when she's you know it's a matter of um, survival so there's so much there's so, so much of a graph so i think that's something that uh, i was constantly thinking about uh, um you know while uh, you know while thinking about the character but when i was doing it i think it was just jumping in and you know just being present and going where he was taking me that's pretty much it yeah in all those um, you know comments and reviews and uh, you know uh, whoever is talking about the film is equally talking about darshna so i think it worked well the way you have planned mm, i hope so <laughs> you designed a uh, graph basically so what other uh, preparation you did to uh, embrace the character actually not much like from the time we heard the story uh, story to when we started work there was very little time and we just sort of figured things out as and when it was happening almost uh, with someone like so, so, someone like my shadow who's so brilliant i think there's a lot for me i think i think a lot came in just surrendering in into that space and you know just um i don't know if there was much a lot more than just me reading the script and just you know um, looking up a little bit of this this thing that thing other than that i don't know i am actually i actually don't know how more to prepare for roles really i keep thinking about it i keep reading other than that i i you know like yeah i think if i have access to all of these things that i'm supposed the character's feeling but other than that i think it was just happening on set as in when it was happening like it was yeah more i i think it's all of my shadow's work <laughs> yeah. so in general uh, like you have excelled on stage and scr- uh, and screen as we uh, just know what we were talking about so uh, but then um, you know what learning and unlearning uh, happens you know before uh, you know uh, getting onto the stage and uh, uh, while preparing for a movie i feel like for me it isn't very uh, i mean it isn't very different i think i don't know i i i don't know if i can articulate this well but i feel like i'm um it's all from the same uh book i'd say like it's all coming from the same place it's just uh technicalities around it seem different or the way we're doing it thing you know like i feel like initially i used to think that oh i enjoy the stage a lot more and, and you know that's that's probably where i um uh, feel like uh you know it's it's it seems like i i just need to enter the space and be there for this long and then that's sorted you know like i'm i i felt like there's more some sort of control over here uh with films so there was a time you know i i hadn't done or i hadn't had the time uh to explore the camera that much and like i feel like now slowly i'm enjoying it just as much it it is different and it is same in some some ways i have no idea how okay, i'll i'll switch to uh, something which i know from the past as in you know um, your yeah. uncle uh, see sir yes. chandran was a yeah. very daring uh, social activist and yes. uh, filmmaker i'm sure there are lots of things that would have inspired uh, you um, could you just recall as in a few for me uh, it's in credible for me how uh, i feel like i think i always just knew him as my uncle and someone very very close to me so it's now that i'm slowly meeting people that uh, you know he hung out with or he you know chilled with and you know his friends are all slowly in my circle and my you know people i'm working with and it's such a beautiful feeling because you know i'd be Uh, you know hanging out with a bunch of friends and suddenly they'd be like oh my god you're uh, you know <laughs> shall chandran neeth and like it's then suddenly i'm just like oh my god you knew him and then i have so many stories over the last uh, two years of being uh, you know involved in in us in the industry in films and theater in just in this space it's just every day i'm coming up with i'm knowing him a little more uh, you know uh, as as a filmmaker and it is so cool like he's he's always been one of the coolest people i've known and he's just becoming cooler by the day like you know he's not even around for me but he's he's literally becoming uh, 
yeah each each tiny story that people tell me it's just my world about him or what i think about him is just becoming bigger and bigger he's just someone who's who's been so passionate about uh, everything he did and you know it's it's uh, yeah i, I he, he's always going to be an inspiration so uh, we used to say that there is no uh, day in our life as in uh, uh, yeah. that we don't remember or we don't talk about uh, said that mm-hmm. you know, to others yeah. i'm sure that you know you will you will uh, you know meet more wonderful people who yeah. have uh, interacted with him in the and company. i think that's the beauty of this man he's like so uh, you know uh, endless on them to so many people it's incredible like it's uh, you could be in like some far off part of the land and suddenly you'll find someone who calls him his brother or you know call says he he was my he was like my son's godfather i don't know like he has like 100000 people all around the world who are so closely related to him. i don't know how he how he did that he's like yeah <laughs> it's so, great that i'm talking about him in an interview with i'm so glad you asked me about him <laughs> and and uh, there is something which i was always thinking about as in um, say uh, your uh, your academic background is excellent like yeah. you know you you could uh, uh, go to lady sri ram college and uh, then further for your masters to uk i was always uh, wondering how you uh, switched to uh, you know mm-hmm. theater mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. further to movies uh, for me um, i think i mean you know uh, you know our family closely and we've always been culturally active like there's always been music Uh, dance and you know we've been on stage a lot uh, uh, but for me uh, i think uh, like my my parents come from a like you know every every i feel like most artists have this thing oh you know i always knew i wanted to do this but my family was not so keen so i went and did engineering i went to my family when i told them i wanted to do math they said uh, you should just go do music like i don't know why you're going to <laughs> so and then i was like no that's not cool i'll have to you know like do something valid or that at that point it seemed like such a strange idea because there was no one around me who was considering um anything you know out of convention so i said okay this is what i you know no i'm going to do this and then i think um i did i did math i don't think i um i mean like academically like all of it i think i did fine but i i don't think i found anything that i was just getting by from one to the other and moving i did um, i i don't think i enjoyed the courses that much i think i found a way to get by and do it as well as i could and then i um, went to uk finished my masters did uh, academically well and then <laughs> came back the, you know to chennai for a job and uh, that's uh, i i worked in microfinance for about uh, three and a half four years i think all along i think i've I, i've always felt that i didn't i didn't i didn't belong uh, in the space somehow but i didn't know what because i've always thought okay this is this is what it's going to be this is how i will do things and then i s- sort of just stumbled upon like theater it just happened to me it was uh, re- really as random as a friend who dragged me along for um, an audition saying you know you can sing why don't you just come and try and act because there's this pantomime happening and you know i think you'll have fun and you don't know anyone in the city you might as well meet some people so i went and i went in uh, you know i went in for this audition and i had such a ball of a time that i um, you know i got cast in that play and then so i was doing theater and that so my first time on stage it just felt like some uh, i don't know i found something that i just loved so much and i it, it, i think it, theater at that point i was working so i had a job to go to and i'd finish around 6 or 7 and then i'd go for rehearsals and that sort of continued for 3 years like i did that um you know a day of 8 o'clock till like 10 or 11 at night for th- continuously for 3 years and i loved it i think i just waited every day to you know just uh, go for rehearsal and that was my you know and then at some point i think i started to get a lot of work in theater or, um you know people started to get in touch and i'd have to pick and i'd say okay i'll do this because i i have work and i won't be able to and at some point and i'd start to feel really disappointed that i can't do the other play or can't do and then i was like okay you know what i i really like this i slowly i started to you know it started to be more than just a hobby i started to take it a little more seriously i started to want to work with different kinds of people different kinds of theater and like learn as much as i could and that's when i started to think if you know is this an option can i like just do this because i really enjoy this <laughs> and then uh, at some point through this thing i think i've 
so unconsciously or consciously is try to save up a little money and say okay you know what i'll do this try for like a year or two and see if i can um you know do theater and you know do whatever i can and do you know give myself to explore the space a little more and then maybe get back to a job if that was my thought but yeah i haven't gotten back to a job and i'm i really hoping that i don't have to <laughs> so, yeah. yeah no 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 it's like is you know <laughs> there are lots who are waiting for your uh, uh, your time your <laughs> date yeah. so yeah. even um, you know uh, you have uh, you know those plays uh, were also socially relevant and now uh, with this character you are bringing up a very uh, socially relevant issue where that needs a um, very good uh, you know what is happening social injustice is happening you are yeah. fighting with uh, with that mm-hmm. uh, i know in as a character in the movie so uh, i find this as a continuation of what uh, sharman has been doing also when, when they relate to <laughs> i think one of my favorite things sharman always wanted to uh, make a film about my grandmother who uh, you know who uh, who was uh, uh, a, a superstar uh, she's no more as well but uh, he always he'd always talk about making this film about her and her life and you know um, and uh, for me i i did a little uh, I, i did this play where i i played a character which was i'm not sure if you caught monkey and the mobile yeah it's, i did you I did watched, yeah you did, did yeah yeah it was an actor from bangalore Yes, yes, yes. Ranga Shankar, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for me, that when I played that, uh, you know, played Amuma or like a character based on Amuma, for me it was like, okay, you know, this this uh, Shamama would have been really glad. <laughs> I'm sure she would be really proud to watch this. So yeah, for me, uh, yeah, it's great to uh, you know think or for any. I'm really glad that you think that I'm. in whatever way continuing in his footsteps i think those are big big footsteps to follow but uh, i think if we're uh, if i'm moving in that way then i'll be very pleased <laughs> yeah. yeah when we when we are talking about that i can also relate to uh, you know uh, this particularly see you soon uh, making i think it yeah. was more more like uh, you know uh, i mean this is what i uh, i could make out uh, from mm-hmm. the conversations mm-hmm. that were happening uh, mm-hmm. with the uh, others mm-hmm. as in um, It, it sounded more like uh, you know doing a play uh, or you mm. uh, constricting the uh, kind of mm. uh, you know mm. while mm. shooting interacting with the other uh, co-stars mm. and uh, mm. uh, you know uh, helping them out reading mm. out the it's like a prompt uh, prompter yeah. in the in, yeah. in, in on, the, on the stage yeah. Uh, yeah. and and it, it, it uh, i could relate many of those things how was it was it uh, similar uh, or while you while you compare yes. with other film making it was uh, i felt like it was different from films but it was different from theater also like in one way the fact that we had to do full scenes we, we didn't have cuts we didn't have different camera angles or you know so you're doing you're doing a whole scene or you know like a whole scene together right there's no um, cutting in between or there's no um, so if you're retaking you're retaking that whole scene again uh, that way i feel like it, you know the, there's some sort of flow that i get when i do when i work on stage because you know you're doing it and you're it just it is flowing so that way i felt a little this was a little similar um uh, in that aspect uh, but otherwise um uh, yeah i mean it was different uh, it was it was it was also i mean you're not seeing you're not seeing your co-actor right there is um it, it you're you're only listening to uh, you know your co-actor in that space uh, so um uh yeah i think that it, it, that's probably where it felt very different because you know it, it, this person is there but you're not really seeing and you you're obviously taking from them but you're not there yeah it was a little limited that way um so yeah i don't know <laughs> i i always think that when you know this is one thing like i'm um i have so much to say about this film and how it's done and how but i never seem to be able to say it in the best way i want to so i'm always like wondering what did how do i explain what just happened or oh, i don't even know how to talk about what i did or you know a process i'm just figuring things out myself so yeah yeah, yeah. it sounds very unique experience basically <laughs> yeah yeah and in one of the conversations i heard uh, fahad saying that um, you are also planning a um uh, see you soon version for the theaters is that uh, how i Not hope so sure. i don't know <laughs> yeah i think they, i think there is a plan <laughs> but if we haven't really uh, yeah had conversations about it i saw what you all saw in the end of the film <laughs> using um, 
very beautifully and mm. um, you know uh, i heard it uh, though maybe we will keep it off the record uh, you know yeah. <laughs> i was part of that uh, making when we did that song yeah know. yeah no that's not, that, that's something I, I mean it's not out but i mean it's not anywhere <laughs> available but that is right, definitely right. my first singing uh, gig <laughs> yeah, so, and that's that's something that i did with sharma and so that Sherman. is that is special yeah. yes <laughs> i do wish i could have done that a lot better so which is why i'm a little um i hide about it but i love it <laughs> and uh, remember mj rathakrishnan was the camera yes, so it yes, was like yes. <laughs> wonderful yeah. experience that was actually probably my you know so when i think of it mj rathakrishnan so i was the first person whose camera i stood in front of so it, yeah it is very yeah. very special <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh, so uh, yeah coming back you, you sing beautifully and you have you had proven uh, on stage uh, as in uh, as a uh, you know um, and and whatever i, I know about it um, those mm-hmm. were very wonderful performances uh, you know and still the entry to the movie was uh, um, was not that easy i believe as in what were the challenges in short and how did you overcome um yeah it's never it's never easy i think uh, i think that's one thing i realized right in the beginning because um whatever you think of it is not how it's going to be and i don't think there's any way to prepare it's always going to hit you it's always going to i always think of it that um you know like i feel like as an actor as an artist i've always felt like my joys and sorrows are so extreme right it's like either either i'm really happy or i'm really sad like and it's so much more than my everyday like i a life that i lived before like it's so different like so i feel like one thing i've always thought of is to just not get carried away by either like to just i mean it is a difficult it's easy to say it right now but when it's happening of course it's a different story but not get pulled by uh, e- either of this like severe extreme happiness or extreme sadness but it's permanently there and uh, with with films i think um like yeah i mean i've uh, i've taken quite a while to like you know find some uh space find work that i relate to that i want to do um it's uh, it has not been easy <laughs> uh but it has been very very fruitful like i i think it hasn't just come to me and i know that i've worked hard for it so i'm glad that it has come the way it has now it's fine <laughs> but uh, there there have been i think uh, right now it's a lot more easier i mean it, it's never easy but like i think it's not as there are there are ways that you can access um, whether it's the internet or social media or like i have access to people i want to work with and that's a fabulous so i don't know if that's a malayalam industry thing but today if there are five people i want to work with i know uh, that i can reach them that my work can reach them today and uh, that like coming from a you know maybe for a woman 20 years uh, an actor who was working 20 years back or 10 years back i'm sure it was a lot lot more difficult you know yeah. so um that way i think it has made things easier for people uh, now but also the fact that there's so much right because of how how it is more accessible there's so much and you need to um for me i think um it's always been tricky like when i did a uh, smaller roles like because i come from a theater background it, it hasn't really been so much about how small the role is or um, you know uh, because when we do plays it's just about the play you whether you're on stage for 5 minutes or 2 hours you know you're you're just on stage and that's what it is and i think i've always felt that so with with films um i mean i'm very happy to be doing uh, smaller roles if i like the role if i so i've been picky and you know it's always been difficult to say no because it's not to the things that i didn't fully connect with or f- fully feel for because it's not been easy whether it's financially emotionally uh, you know things aren't easy so each time you said a no you had to explain to a lot of people why uh, you know why 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 are you saying no when you don't have money to pay your bills like you just do the film like but i know that i i stood ground in many of those things and did only the things that i fully connected with uh, but that has definitely not been easy um so yeah um but uh, yeah i don't know <laughs> i'm happy that this is how it has happened for me <laughs> see like earlier uh, it was uh, more of a glamour uh, which was mm. attracting people to the uh, you know to mm. the industry yeah, yeah. now it's more of uh, intellect and you know mm. the, the more mm. you bring your brilliance onto the screen or behind mm. the screen 
Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. that way you have proven, uh, you know, with mm-hmm. whatever uh, people have seen. So uh, once mm-hmm. they see uh, you there, uh, it's mm-hmm. established, and then they remember. <laughs> Before winding up, I would like to uh, say a few words uh, from. I like. I would like to hear a few words from you about, you know, you your family is, uh, you know, your mother acts very well. Your the uh, you know, your, your elder sister. <laughs> I have. I'm a fan of her um, <laughs> for her acting, and uh, she, you know. uh i can't imagine uh, you know uh, directing 12 12 plus kids <laughs> on the stage <laughs> and uh, making them perform so uh, uh but uh, you know my family closely and uh, uh i live with three absolute superstars so uh, and i think that's just uh, just been how uh, you know like it's almost like there's one person uh at their big day and there are three cheerleaders permanently it's just been the way uh, you know whether it's a show uh, that my mother and father and have seen like eight times the ninth show they'll somehow still come from coach into uh, bangalore or coach into uh, you know and my, my most often my my uh, you know the groups that i'm performing with they're like oh my god they're actually coming for one more show <laughs> it's like but they they're always just there and that's just how it's been and it's just uh everything that uh bhavna and i are doing is because of how cool uh, and how incredibly supportive uh, my parents are and how uh, you know uh, yeah they just amazing my mother uh, uh yeah my mother is uh, uh, she's been you know it's just amazing anything you throw at them they are at it like right now both of them are exploring acting uh, my father and mother are exploring acting with my mother's been doing a lot of films my dad has been doing some uh, and it's just really cool because i feel like even now when i go on set the first day for me feels like first day of school i'm so nervous i'm so scared and i'm thinking i if i have half the energy that these two have on on set so like on so excited Uh, you know meet people and uh, you know at it like they're going to give it a shot and then they'll see if they want to do it or not but they will give it a shot and like if i can be half as cool as them i think i'll i'll consider myself super cool <laughs> but uh, that's yeah both of them my sister is also an incredible actor i've like always loved watching her on stage she's uh, uh she's uh, yeah she's uh, she's been the the person who started acting in the family honestly she's been like i remember watching her as a, a child in a play uh, she did she did taming of the shrew i think in in school and you know she'd uh, be traveling from uh, one stage to the other and she you know i remember watching her at some one of these competitions and thinking oh my god she's really cool <laughs> so i hate that she would be listening to this soon but uh, yeah it's true you're quite cool it's quite a um, uh yeah it, i feel like it, it's a great it's great family for a art for a um yeah like art person surviving struggling anything like they, there's always um there are always three people to hold you <laughs> certainly would uh, basically i have lots more to ask but then you know <laughs> i i i understand the situation you are in and no, uh, i don't will, want you to uh, we'll do another uh, once this settles a little and i'm i'm actually going to be starting work which is probably the ideal thing but uh, yeah I, i but once that's done and once i'm a little free I'll let's do a longer conversation this has been a great conversation for me because you know uh, you i feel like you as a uh, you've been a like family cheerleader as well you followed everything we've all done we've you've come from so many of our plays you've you know seen me doing my first gig in front of the camera you've seen me sing when i was you know 10 <laughs> so yeah it's great talking to you it's been really nice talking about sharman and these are things like i feel like i've not spoken about in interviews so i'd love to have a chat with you at some point when we have more time both of us can <laughs> most definitely uh, there's yes. no, uh, one word about the upcoming movies and then we will sign off so there's uh, there's turumugam which uh, which uh, rajiv had is uh, doing and uh, it has been um, yeah it like it, it i think it changed me somewhere as a person also it was uh, very 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 special i loved working with him and i'm really looking forward to watching it and for people to watch it um, he yeah he he just like lifts you from uh, the world you're in and puts 
you into a world that he's built this beautiful world and i think everything just he just makes things happen uh, he's uh, he yeah i i mean i'm waiting for everyone to watch it uh, there's uh, penanjar kunum which is part of an anthology of four directors and one is uh, ashika bhus uh, short which roshan and i were part of um then uh, that was again that was like a sh- uh, you know i think 6 7 days of shoot but it, it's so different it's i, I think one, one thing i've been really lucky over the last year i've done all of these things which are so different very very the one the fun is completely different from the other and i think that's so cool that uh, as an actor for me i've got to explore so many different worlds um very different from all of this is hridayam uh, with vinita and um he has been um yeah he's I, I, i've said this multiple times but he's someone who has so much faith in his actor that uh, uh, you know the actor just you, he just almost tricks the actor into believing that he can you can do anything like so he's made me do things that i never saw myself doing or never thought i was capable of doing so it, he he just empowers you as an actor with all this support and faith and like i loved working with him it was uh, it was always fun it was like it was always just fun <laughs> so i'm really looking forward to all of these things uh, you know re, you know finishing up all of this and like for it to come but for for me as an actor it has been a great year over the last year has been so every day has I've woken up to something completely uh, different and new, and like um, you know, somewhere I could ha- could just uh, you know explore and uh, yeah. As, as long as I get to do the kind of work I'm doing for a while, I'll be very very pleased. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes. I wish all the very best uh, for Thank your future you so movies. I think <laughs> entire Kerala is uh, no entire India is waiting to see more of your movies because uh, that is the kind of reviews I have been watching. Uh, wish you all the very best for the um, movies you have done already and movies uh, that are upcoming that you are going to act to. Uh, all the very best uh, from the Thank deep of so my much. heart. Thank you so much, Ashish. It was great talking to you. Yeah. Ha, badal bichli chandan pani jaisa apna pyaar lena hoga janam hume kai kai baar. हो इतना मधुर कितना मधुर तेरा मेरा प्यार लेना होगा जन्म हमें कई कई बार <laughs> awesome wonderful so uh, i i should tell the you know listeners that you know uh, darshna has been working full day or uh, and in the last couple of weeks <laughs> and i caught her while she is traveling and she sang so beautifully there is no words which i can explain my you know this thing and i think everyone will appreciate this thank you so much ashish <laughs> <laughs>